Hooray, hooray, hooray. Get your tickets to the greatest show on earth. Hello, welcome. Today we're going under the big top. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Plotting. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, it's officially fall it here is. at the Barbershop Duet, and we're so excited to start some of our seasonal scents, including yes. this one today. But first... Oh. We have something we'd like to mention. Yeah. We reached out to our friend Monica at Vanule, and we said, you know, we're the barbershop duet. We use your bowl a lot. I was wondering, would it be possible for you to make that in, like, barbershop colors? You no, know, red, white, and blue. Uh, and, of course, as soon as we asked, the next day, we got pictures. <laughs> <laughs> there were four to pick from. And then She's so good. We both fell for different ones. So we have two. We bought two of them, right, because we couldn't decide we on couldn't which decide. one we liked. So today's, you get to see uh, mine Sarah's. from the shave down here. How cool is that? And it's it made just, of resin. It's shatterproof. Mm -hmm. And then it has, I like, you can be able to hold this with your hand. It's yeah. got a good solid grip. Even if your hands get wet it's or get soap on them. It's on the holder so mm -hmm. that you can get a grip to it with, if you got a little bit of soap on your hands or something. Yes, but we like this blue. It was kind of a fun mix it's of really blue. really pretty. And I love that it's not like primary red and blue. I love that it's like a version yeah, of red and blue. But you know what we're going for. So you will see this come back later. And a uh, uh, little tip when you order for Monica, just if given the option, just tell her to be creative. Right, give her the colors. She's wonderful at, at what she does. And boy, she'll she'll make you happy. She always does us. So yeah. thanks, Monica and Vanule. That's really cool. Right. Is and, it time uh, to meet the soap? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so I was breezing through my shaves of the day. Yeah, I think it was on the Shave Gang Facebook yeah. group. And there was a fella who had shaved with this soap. So and his saw, shave like, of the, the day, day picture? picture was so gotcha. cool. If you're if you're a newbie like us, uh, a lot of the community members mm -hmm. on social media will put together a beautiful snapshot of their shave of the day, including what razor they used and what mm -hmm. blades they used and what soap they so used. So you even see what the hashtag S. O T D right shave of the day. I thought it, at first that was like sold, and, and I'm like, I didn't wow, know what people are happening. selling a lot of stuff. Or no, S O T N no, no, shave of the night. Or shave of the night. So yeah. if you want to look those up, that's what this is for. And it's a great way if you see other soaps like like this one. It's like wait a minute, where did you find that? I haven't seen like, that yet. I haven't found that, so surely it's not available, right? And he said, well, don't call me Shirley, and it is available, <laughs> and you can go get it. It's <laughs> part of what uh, Ariana and Evans has as part of what they call the club. club right. It's sort of a little bit of an offshoot of their their major brand and i went there immediately <laughs> and picked this one up because i have an affinity for the big top mm -hmm. uh i'll let Goes you in back. on a little secret when i was three i ran away from the circus and joined a family <laughs> uh it was a little traumatic uh but it's in my blood mm -hmm. and you can't help it <laughs> right in my theater world there's a great musical called barnum it's by cy mm -hmm. coleman uh and it's about the life of pt barnum and i've done it twice and it's just it's super close, close to, to my soul, soul. Mm -hmm. barnum himself is super close to my soul um so when I saw that there was How a could soap you not? <laughs> based on the big top, uh, I just want to hear your sweet voice read these oh, this okay. little description. Can you start at the top? Yes. Don't sleep on this. It smells amazing and not a gimmicky scent. Okay. And then here's the description. You ready? Do you remember as a child going to the circus or carnival when it came to town? The big top will bring back those childhood memories. The unique scent is like no other. You know, folks, <laughs> y'all, I mean, sometimes you want to go to Boracay, sometimes mm -hmm. you want to go to a barber shop, but sometimes. damn it, sometimes <laughs> when I go to shave, I want to go to the circus, and Ariana and Evans is going to make gonna it make possible. They're going to make possible. Let's open this box. <laughs> Rip it open. Ooh, so uh, we don't know the whole story yet, but Pete and Ariana and Evans moved to the Philippines right. uh, to set up shops. So their American store is the shaving shop. It, it, it is in Connecticut. Right. So if you see that come in the mail, that is Ariana yeah, and Evans. That's Ariana just their Evans. distributor from. Ready? Let's see. I was, I, I, I will let you know, I was really drawn in by the cover of this book. Right. I totally judged it by its cover. Yeah, it's this. You'll but see I think why. I should have. Ooh, it's oh, even better in person. It's even better. You don't really know from the picture what yeah. like quality, what resolution the labels are going to be in there. Oh, all but just so you beautiful. wait, people. <laughs> folks, it's, it's folks, pretty legit. I'm not going to lie. At that, everything the circus is <laughs> musical, exciting, and slightly scary, dudes. Right? Right? Look at that. All the things. Look at that slightly scary dude. 
That's the circus right there. But just intriguing and inviting enough that you want <laughs> to know more. I'm so excited about this. Oh All right, let's God, uh, let's have a first impression. <laughs> So I, I know there are scent notes. I know it's probably going to have the typical stuff of like right. popcorn. Just and imagine circus. It's probably stuff. those. But yeah. I just before I, before I get there, yeah, I we're just want to take just, this in. Okay, this is how they portray it with the label. With the label. This okay, is right. how they present Let's it. Take a look at the pour here. Okay, ready? Okay. You do no, first. No, no, you. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now I get nervous. I know. I watch your face. Hold on. <laughs> okay, this is one of those ones you got to keep rewiffing because there's. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I, I want to see. I want to see what you. She say. needed the triple whiff <laughs> just to let go of it, folks. Just so you're clear. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything good. I want to see what you say. Hey. See. Whoa. Okay. My first whiff. You know those. Whoa. Ones, right. No. You're right. The first. The whiff, first one was kind of earthy. That one was more light and oh, candy. See? And my first one was you know those peanut gummies that come on a wrapper. <gasps> That's what I got. And then the second whiff was like you know like outside or something and then i don't know okay i'm going for my third i'm going for third Uh, it's fantastic though it's not like i'm like "Mm -mm, no 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 it's not like they shouldn't be together it's just different layers of oh you should be crying laney this is fantastic maybe she smells the peanuts laney wants the peanuts (laughs) can you smell there is okay so it's not peanut butter no 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 i don't know how to get that across but it's 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 mm. It's nutty. It's nutty. Yeah. But it's... It's like a brickle. Right. But like in the stands, you'd have one hand with peanuts and the other hand with like something sweet, like that pink popcorn. The sweets in it for me. Like I don't pick out any particular snack. I I smell the snack bar. Yeah. Right. The Does combo. that make sense? I smell the snack bar. So you're mm-hmm. not sure what it is, no. but it's... The sweet, sugary, the and delicious, yeah. and it's not chocolatey. Get that Mm-mm. out of here. No chocolate at the circus. This yeah, is all there, different. There's either peanuts like or popcorn. Candy apples or yeah, peanuts candy apples. and those. That's what's in this. Right? Cracker Jacks kind the of pink something. popcorn brick, right? Yes, that's what I'm picturing. Oh, yeah. And then there's something a little more structural. It's not all food. No, no, there's no. There's something a little bit also... Oh, what is that? It's, I wanted to say it was outdoor. It's not like hay. No, or it something. is. It has a little bit wood, of wood to it. But like that's the, what you because, build. You know, the, it's put up with big posts. Right. That's right? what I'm There's thinking. There's a little bit of wood to it. You can smell the tent. Yeah. I. What is that third thing? Well, I have fifteen. I don't even know what we're at. I don't know. Go get Lainey. She clearly wants to help. She us. wants to smell it. Much like Lucy, Lainey always tries to find a way to get on the show. So here she is. This is. She it's invested her own. Oh, you gave her a treat. Okay. <laughs> Not your peanuts. <laughs> but she does smell it. What do you smell? You know what I Okay. When I first cracked this, I in my head, I saw a picture of like me walking toward the vacant lot in my little town surrounded by trees where I was going to see the big top for the first oh. time. Because I grew up in Rodeo and there right. was a carnival every year that would come through and it would set up shop in this vacant lot in front of St. Pat's, right? Wow. So it was just dirt every other day of the year. But on one special day, yeah, you turn the, the corner lights. and you would just see Wonderland when you were a kid, right? So what my brain showed me was like first the trees and like okay. the flowers of my neighborhood and then ah. I see the big top and I get hit with the snack bar. Because it's almost like without smelling your town first, the big top has no perspective. Does that okay. make sense? Yes. Like otherwise it would just be, I don't know, peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Like right. that's all it would be. This tells a story. This has me like smelling the trees and the flowers and the woods of my neighborhood. And then right. I see the big top and I catch whiffs of the tent. I catch oh. whiffs of the snack bar. So see what you get. See, and for us, we had Barnum that would come through. And I remember oh, being you had, a little kid. You went kid. to the real circus. I, well, I remember being a little kid and <laughs> it just so in awe of like the trapeze. Everything seemed giant. I went to the parking lot circus, but <laughs> she went to the Barnum circus. What was that like? Because they don't do it anymore. No, it was it was pretty crazy. And I just remember because I was just little and everything seemed giant and huge. Even yeah. the elephants, everything was, there was always music and big and yes. flashy lights and like, you know, the trapeze <laughs> artist or the big, what's the one where they were in the motorcycle going around and this cage thing, like 
Everything was just something I'd never seen before. Right, yes. And especially in person. Right. That awe part of it. And, and maybe having done a, a Barnum show, show twice right? and like kind of being in the theater world, which is just a little bit about that. It's right. a little bit of create a fake Behind world and the then tank, tear it yeah. all down again. You know? mm-hmm. um, there is something magical about the people right. that are involved in the circus because mm-hmm. when you're there, they just like create this whole magical world they do. Where and you everyone are. can just escape and, into right, it the ringmaster's there to be mm-hmm. the boss and the clowns are there to make you laugh and the, the trapeze artists are there to like show you what god can let right, people what do can when do. they really put a lifetime of practice not into it. scared of heights just doing and then the next morning it's, it's a dirt up. lot again mm-hmm. just gone like santa like yeah it's just like that's a good way that to it. magical mm-hmm. like you were you were standing i remember standing in the dirt lot because it was across from my daycare and, and just going like, it's gone it was here eight-year-old nostalgia that's what right? it looked like it was is that here. what this smells like? it was all here <laughs> well i mean it doesn't not no but like I and just... i mean that's what i love and and ariana and evans that's that's what i'm grateful for is that you are able to bring me back to that vacant lot right even if it's not exact it tells that story because mm-hmm. Rodeo had a lot of trees and Rodeo had a lot of woods and you smelled yeah. that. It is outdoorsy. Something You smelled how the big top was coming into your neighborhood and this does that. So uh, why don't we actually check and see yes. what they put in mm-hmm. this magical thing. Okay, so I'm going to build a lather. Oh, it's a nice... Bitey soap. It's got a little push against my yeah. stick. I like that. Okay. okay. While you do that, here's the brush. Okay. I will check it out here. So, let me let me actually smell while I do this. Citrus. Wait, what? That's the, the top note? It's citrus. I don't know what kind, though. Nice. It's not... I can't tell if it's lemony, orangey, lemony. Well, I don't you know, really for, get... For me, it kind of was about smelling your town first and then smelling the big top arrive at right. it. Right. So maybe, maybe the citrus is just like the trees of your town that I was okay. catching on to. The next thing, cotton candy. You got that in there in the snack bar section? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but this one that 100%. falls after is kind of where I was at. What do you got? Honeysuckle. More flowers. But it's not like in your face sweet. Like the flowers you know? of the town though. That's kind of yeah. what I was smelling, I think. And then amber. Oh, nice. There is a That's darker, the tent right. flavor, flavor mm-hmm. maybe? Caramel popcorn. Oh, now hold on. Oh, yeah. You know how that, that like top little yeah. salty, dry popcorn smell? Yeah, a little buttery-ish hint. Yep. I don't know. Okay, then earth, which we did say outdoors. Oh, right, because it's a vacant lot. I could smell it. Pralines. That's the that peanuts. That's the peanuts. It's pralines. Oh, crap, man. Okay, we're almost there. Then sandalwood. Oh. And okay. cedar wood. Well, we smelled woods. Like the we woods did. of the pole of the tent. Wow. I, I feel but like. But nowhere in there it says peanut. Right. No, but it says praline. I think oh, there I guess. are. Okay. I think there are peanuts and pralines, right? I, I know we have friends in New Orleans. Can you put in the comments? Just in case. <laughs> no, but I think that's what. Because look, let's have a growing up conversation, all right? If this was just the snack bar, you'd have to call it the snack bar. Right. It would just not be popcorn sir, yeah. and peanuts right. and Cracker Jacks. Not. That's all it would be. And it would be a ballpark or it could mm-hmm. be any snack bar. This was more of a challenge. This is a big top. So this had yeah. to smell like the circus. And it does. It does. So that's what's different between the ballpark and the circus is there you've got the amber that's the tent. You've got the cedar that's the planks of the, the wood of that builds, the posts that yeah, build. Yeah, I don't even know if top. sweet's the right word. It's more savory. Like, Ooh. because it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's got that sweetness from the flowers, but I feel like the, the gourmand parts right. are more savory. The it's, it's not, and the... it's not a candy gourmand. That's not the no, first thing right. that hits. Get that out of your head. Don't, not don't a candy go there. gourmand set. You don't want to eat this. No, <laughs> but you know, you're around stuff that would make you want to go right. look right. at the food. You don't want to eat this at all, but you know that over there, something smells really good. You know what I mean? That yeah. you would want to eat. It's such a creative one. Like, I would have never thought a shave soap could be under this category. I, I didn't think that they would use top, middle, and bottom notes to tell the story in order. Right? Because I get the flowers first as I approach the big top, and then I get the big top, mm-hmm. like, snack bar, and then I get the big top. Like, I get those in order. Right. And, okay, so the first thing on their website says, don't sleep on this. It smells amazing and not <laughs> a gimmicky scent. No, and I would completely right. agree. It's That's not That's a great at all. thing to say. This is not gimmicky at all. 
Although, I, if I smelled this, I don't know if I would have known you know, like, you what, know, what, how is, to place it before. I might make a bunch of enemies here. My apologies. But for me, gimmicky is like um, jelly belly, um, jelly bellies. Oh. Jelly beans. Yeah. Like the buttered popcorn. Right. Doesn't really taste like butter popcorn. It tastes like a jelly bean, but it's enough of the suggestion right, the that you're like, it. oh, that's cool. I can see where that's That's going. gimmicky, right? Not here. The pralines in here are real. The cotton candy in here is real. The earth is real. The cedarwood is real. The, yeah, the citrus is real. Yeah, I guess that's why I was real. saying savory, because it is yeah. real. It's not fake candy version smell. Right. This is it's... not a Laffy Taffy anything. No. Mm -mm. This, this is... I might smell that one now. Yeah. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Did I let you smell the lather? Who's hog? having fun? Lather hog. <laughs> I've been totally lather hogging this whole time. Ooh, this brightens up quick. Mm -hmm. I actually get the citrus now. Ah, uh, do you? Yes. Right. I do too. I don't get it as much in here. Yeah. I smell that now. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I love best the earth, the, the dirt smell, and the cedar wood. Those make this. A little bit of a Halloween scent for ah, me, folks. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. This is a little bit of just that, like, oh God, not that. No, <laughs> get that out of your head. It's not that. It's more like a. Yeah, and and look. Like it's just kind of got that. His like, face right now, just a little of the creepy vibe. Right. You know, like just, just like, a little eerie. Like, maybe you'll enjoy the show, but you won't get home on time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that kind of. But creepy. there is that character. At the circus, right? Like the like, I, you don't know if you're supposed to trust them yet, or right? Not. Like, yeah, there is that little, that little like, like hmm. the evil clown, right? right. Like, supposed, hmm, yeah, oh. this does. This has a little tiny bit, just enough to make it a Halloweeny smell, and I'm not sure how they did that. Right? Ooh, do we dare take this little deep? Yes, we do. You know what I'm you know what I really like that the circus doesn't have animals. <laughs> you don't want that in there. No, which is but that's why I don't want it to smell too too pretty. It's because, a cruelty free circus. There's no animal. Yeah, but but even, you know, there is a rawness of being at the circus. Yes, it's real. Right. You do it's on smell dirt. It's, it's on, on dirt. dirt, you smell the animals going by. I mean, there's no manure or anything here. It's on but earth. it's right. it's that being you are in the elements with it. Yes. It's yeah. there is come something that breaks like for us stage life is up on the stage. There's something about right. being at that eye level tier with those right. animals and right. the stuff. And even the drier notes, like the the note of earth or the note of cedarwood and sandalwood, it's more like when you're on a hayride and you ah, smell those yes. notes and you're like Oh, this just brings me right there to that place. That's why those notes are here. Otherwise, like I said, it would just be snack bar, but it's not. This is the full big top experience with all of well, it. Well, and it is, you know, like a three wing circus. There's a lot of things. <laughs> There's a lot happening. going on there. It's not just the central focus. There's, you know, there's different things that are going on. Right. And yeah. I know we don't comment on lather. But uh, she's she's doing a, a four star I, job. I had to over add there. a little, little this more. Is the daughter of an eagle up. scout right here, and she's uh, she's well prepared. Well, and, and I'm not even getting all the things yet, but... Oh, all yeah. the little bits. There's still some bits there's, there's a lot happening. That, that's some nice lather. But it's... it's That'll tighten up, too, when you get the rest yeah, of get, it. Yeah, get the... First hit is a little more of the honeysuckle citrusy. Oh, yeah. And then something... The cedar woody stuff in there, meeting with the praline. Yep. And I, I get know. I get the the sweet of the citrus with the earth smell. Those yeah, two were together. something they dance together so well. So that's why I smell sure. like my town first, and then I smell the big top. Oh, just fantastic. I couldn't learn how to juggle. Yeah, my oh. eye imbalance was, yeah, so I learned mm. how to eat fire. I did. My fun thing that I did, I got to go, we got to go dance. I don't know if you say dance, uh, perform. I don't know. Uh, on a horse. Like well, I didn't a, know that. Yeah, one time we went and uh, our dance teacher's daughter was kind of connected to that. And so yeah. it was like a horse that someone stood and they like went around and they had the big thing on the back with the pattern. Right. So they she do would do Yeah, she would do all the fancy, you know, full gymnastic stuff, but we would just try and balance there or do something little <laughs> wow. or, and it had the handles on it that you could do more cool tricks. So fun fact, there you go. My one sort of circus. Wow. Moment. We will send a small sample of this out to whoever can juggle the most balls in the comments. So let us know. Yeah, Are send you us a three your ball guy? Are you a four <laughs> ball guy? This is getting a little well, hard, but that's good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step up to our box office on the Midway for tickets if you want to get it's your own. Hard. So head over to aegrooming.com or shavingshopclub.com to find this and a bunch of other stuff I want. Right, I am back from my 
I shave with the big top and it was very enjoyable. Um, I just liked letting my imagination go with the smell um, and I did let it bloom a little bit um, on the bathtub before I used it which was kind of fun mixing it up a little bit. So wonderful Ariana and Evans lather as usual um, and even just the smell is super fun to still escape to so I will definitely gravitate toward this and use it again. Welcome to Messages. So we really have been trying to search out all the seasonals that are coming out in the shave world in for fall and for winter. We don't know what we're missing. So Halloween, Christmas. Right, I, we are big holiday people, but we want to make sure. I know there's some that come back each year. There's some that are new. There's some artisans that don't, and there's some that do. So if there's ones that we should have, please comment below yeah, so let we us can know make your sure. Favorites. We have hardly run into any Halloween scents yet. I think we pre-ordered Hallows from Barrister yes. and Man, but that's... Pretty much but it. we have tried to block off some time on our production yes, schedule. Yes, we have a couple of weeks clear before Halloween. So, so we need your input. Help would, a duet out. Would yeah. you let us know when to be looking for the seasonal scents and which ones are your favorites? I love that so much of the shaving world is about nostalgia. You can't right? go see Barnum anymore. They're no, not doing it No, it's just not part of the, yeah. But you can, you can shave with this. And like we've talked about, smell is such a giant factor yeah. in bringing back memories that... Who knows where this will take you? I don't know. I just keep picturing in Bugs Life, <laughs> right. the cartoons, yeah. when they're at the circus. You're and not like, going to see a chorus line here, folks. Right? You're going to the circus. And <laughs> There's this just is different be parts different. of it. Like, so depending on what you experience, you might smell something first. Right. That, you, you know, just because you experience something different yeah. at the circus that you're picturing in your head. And A&E, I love that this is a three-act play. Right? I love that this takes you somewhere and then takes you somewhere else and then takes you somewhere else. Let me just watch her take her first three whiffs. She right. was I really clearly did. given a full <laughs> shot. So thank you for this wonderful trip to the circus. I, I was very enjoyable. <laughs> ah, don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop. Do you want? You'll smell better just watching it. Yeah.